it's just so funny to think about how vacation seems like a million years ago. Literally, was just thinking like how not motivated I am for the showman aspect of this. You know, like not only am I back in the grind, I'm like so deeply in it that like you know, it was funny. Somebody left a comment. Uh, I ended the episode two episodes ago, I guess, with like um, you know, just a grimy. Yeah. And the guy, did you see his comment? Mm-hmm. He was like, "What do you mean grimy and hustle and execution? All this guy does is walk around and shake people's hands." <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, let me just, I'll back up where I can. Look, the punchline is that, you know, if you weren't the first mover on the platform itself, you can still be a first mover by being the first mover in a new feature, like live video capabilities, or in this example, filters, or some uh, or Instagram stories. There's always gonna be new feature builds on these platforms that allow a new opportunity to be the first mover tactically instead of within that platform. So, the, it's ca- kind of think of it like real estate, where you might have not been first in California, but you could be first at in Malibu. And so it's like neighborhood, uh, cu- you know, buying up neighborhoods instead of buying up New York City. The person, that, here's a great example. There's a lot of people that made money in Manhattan and New York, but you know, you could have been the person that made money in Dumbo, you know, so, the bottom line is, this is continuing to happen. Every person reading this article still can deploy this exact strategy, which is why I'm featuring it to all of you, if you are targeting 13 to 35 year olds. Yep. Um, I make decisions that are predicated on whether this person's telling the truth or not is relevant. I'm making this decision because of X. I think when you actually have less um, expectation of others, there's an incredible life to be lived. It's stunning how little I expect from others. Uh, I take it as a pleasant surprise and as a positive when one does the normal base thing that a human should do. I think that most people start with way too high expectations and then people disappoint them. I go the reverse and thus it makes it easy for me. So I've never been uh, really ever crippled by the notion of is this person telling me the truth? You want the real information? To me, I'm a post game guy. If they're not telling the truth, I'll deal with that later. I'm not worried about at that moment dwelling, overthinking, slows you down and that becomes a problem. That to me is the KPI, speed. Tiana, I think it's actually pretty easy to judge a uh, speaker. Um, You know, for example, I think I have substance but I have a lot of motivational tendencies uh, above it. I also think it's important to see what they've done. For example, you know, if they're actually if she or he is actually building businesses and they happen to be motivational, then you know that there's something happening in their day job, right? Um, if they're just coming out the gate and saying, I'm a motivational guru and only sell books and only do seminars, then, then that's what they do. And I've struggled with the notion of um, you know, this motivational thing. I've got motivational tendencies, but I've been so proud of actually building two very large tangible businesses, being an actual investor making stuff happen, so I think I, I think you just have to dissect the words and more importantly, words are only a very small part of the equation. What are the actions outside of those words I think really matter. This is fancy. My brother. What's up, man? What's up, baby? You good? Really good. Good to see you again. How are you? I'm feeling good. good. What's up, man? Good to see you. How are you? What's up, man? How are you? Why do you say what I think I'm going to build? It seems like people like you would be saying what I'm going to build. Because I don't want to count my fucking chicken shot. Like, honestly, like, I've done well. I've made it. I'm good. I want to keep winning. But, I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe I fall off. Like, I want to stay hungry. I'm not ready to, you know, D-Rock's like, hey, this cabbie, he knew who you were. I'm like, no, no, he just saw that you were with, you know, with a camera with me. Like, I have big enough ego in me already, I gotta make sure that I have big enough humility to go with it, because that's how you get somewhere. Second you think you've won, somebody's gonna creep. It's, it's so real. I'm scared of that. Like, and especially for as much shit as I talk, like I'm gonna buy the Jets, like I'm fucking suffocating myself, put myself in a corner of never being able to let off. So, so back to your question, back to your question, everybody's got their reality. 
Right. Like everybody's so got the reality. Different. You know, my answer to this is, I don't, so I'm gonna give an answer that is valuable to everybody listening and I'm gonna give the real answer, which is not as valuable. The real answer is, I don't fucking know. The real answer is, that guy needs to know himself. Like some people learn, like if that guy knows himself and he knows he's a good student and he doesn't have ambition to buy the New York Jets and his ambition is to make $81,000 a year, be on three softball teams, have good work-life balance, you know, get his one or two vacations a year, not have a whole lot of stress, well then school and go get, go into the machine. If he's like me and couldn't breathe in school, fucking hated school, wanted it, needs the action, fucking needs action, like fucking wants to stick computers in his, in his brain because he needs action, well then he needs to go and just do. Uh, if he's looking for a lotto ticket, make a business plan. Business plan's the whack one on that. Business plan's the bullshit, that's the, the marriage of the two above that means nothing, it's half pregnant. Business plans are bullshit in today's world because you don't need them. Just do it. That's right, who the fuck are you pitching? That old white dude doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> like, 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 like what PowerPoint do you need to get, you know? Like so, that's just, that's, you know what that's called? That's, that's called somebody being in a fantasy in their own mind. And that's the person that says to their homies, I've got a business plan. That's just a proxy to like, that's peacocking bullshit. There is no business plan, go do shit. I've fought against that my whole life because I think it's the cheesy thing. Like I don't want to be a motivational speaker, weird conference halls, like that's weird. But if I can be a businessman that has motivational DNA, well that's interesting because then what, what the difference is is I, I think a lot of motivational speakers just keep wanting to go to the bottom and keep having, like they almost, like I basically want nobody to watch me. I want people to consume my shit, get a couple ideas, get pumped and go do. Gary V, ladies All right. and gentlemen. What's Love you guys. Up, what, Great. You, you want to tell them where to find you? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch his videos. Don't I want follow them. To, I want them to get inspired of something in here and go do something. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you. Did you show? You showed the Apple Watch. Cheers. Uh, so, I mean, we yeah. the Apple show me. Watch. Show me. New notification center. Which is a, which is like a major step forward, and it leads to the watch. And this is like all the alerts you can get on the watch. Like, I guess we're technically into Thursday. Good stuff. Good day for Resi. Good day for a bunch of meetings. Just met up with Saka, my boy. He's a shark. I like that. It's good to see him. It's just good to put in another day's work. Good solid days of work. The work, it trumps everything. It's the one non-debatable. You can debate talent, you can debate luck, you can debate circumstance. You can't debate if somebody's putting in the work. Not subjective, motherfuckers. You either put in the 15, 16, 18 hours of work that gives you the best position to succeed in what you're trying to achieve, or you don't. So. You can have opinions, but you can't debate the fucking data. I think about putting in the work in the same way I think about having the best product, right? Like, like the best product just wins. Like, there's, there's so much that is debatable. Uh, things that you can't put your fingers on, but the market is the market is the market. The market decides the best products, and you, the market, watch this and understand like, look, you can come up with all your theories all you want. I'm putting in the fucking work. I'm putting in the work.